Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. It's my absolute pleasure to um, introduce you to a man, a myth, a legend that I really, that really doesn't need any introducing, let's be fair. It's Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. I've never really known exactly why they call him the, the Mamba or what the Mamba mentality is, but I'm sure we'll get into that. Either way guys, this is a video by Joseph Vincent. It's 20 minutes long. This is titled Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba Career Documentary, Episode 1. So I'm assuming you must have done a few episodes, which we may get into. Either way, uh, this is my introduction to uh, Kobe Bryant, my introduction to a bit of NBA basketball on the channel, and another ode to the great man, Joseph Vincent. So let's get into it. But to be successful, you have to be able to persevere. And so people see your success now, but you've had to overcome some obstacles. Oh, he's got it. Go to the next pitch. It's tough to be in another country. Hang on, did he grow up in Italy? Learning multiple languages. I think he might have. What a silly foul. As you may know, his dad, Joe Jellybean Bryant, played for many years in Italy, so that's where Kobe picked up the beautiful Italian. So our parents just immersed it. Joe Jellybean Bryant. It's an Italian culture. So we were surrounded by Italian kids. We were just learning the language as they were. For me, growing up in isolation turned out to be a great strength. But it also turned out to be a weakness, too, and things that I kind of Oh, I tell you what, it's the first time I've seen Kobe at that age, that's for sure. Oh yeah, this guy grew up in Italy. And then he got that reminds me of the previous video when we saw to um, Tiger Woods as a young kid coming through the ranks. You know, destined for great things, but you never really knew at that point, right? Yeah, drop back in America. So now to move back at the age of 13 <laughs> in, in middle school and being completely different. You know, I had a hard time reading, I had a hard time kind of getting adjusted to the culture. What I remember would be him coming in as a kid. Is that in college? And tremendous expectations. So he was dunking on motherfuckers' heads from the get-go. Let's be fair. Now that's in the NBA, surely. But I was reading all this stuff Pistons. about uh, his high school coach saying they would they would get there and he would be shooting baskets in the dark because they hadn't even turned the lights on yet. When did you know no one is going to outwork you? I never looked at it as work. I didn't realize it was work until... My <laughs> he just loved it. Shooting baskets in the dark before the team or the coach even entered the building. The Aces of Lower Marion featuring the best player in high school basketball in 1995, Kobe Bryant. Because people want to assume that because someone has physical attributes, they don't have mental attributes. They always want to say that. Talk about academically, he speaks Well, if you can combine Italian the physical and the mental, it's over. This is in high school. I remember a guy in my high school team who could dunk like that. His name was Kelly Boa. He was African, of African descent. I mean, he just had physical attributes, skills that, that no one could match. And believe it or not, I came second in the high jump only to the great man Kelly Boa. Any school. Uncommon amongst uncommon people. The exception among the exceptional. Yeah. Taking TV and recording star Brandy to his prom. That's the Kobe Bryant killing people right there. You're <laughs> 18 year old, Kool Aid smile, fresh out of high school, bald headed Kobe. You're the best player in the nation for anybody in high school. He has been one of the most. And that was prior to coming to the NBA. That's crazy. It's not as if he, you know, came just out of the woodworks and no one knew about him. He was he was the top high school basketball player in the nation. Followed high school athletes. In Did he go to state, college though? Kobe Bryant, who is going to go the distance up and slams at home. Oh, I, I tell you what. There's one thing he loves doing, and that's slamming, Jim's slamming dunks on motherfuckers' heads. Some high five. Yeah. Kobe Bryant, KB, taking it Rumors to the are ride. flying all over that you're the one player here who's thinking seriously of making the transition right from the high school ranks to the professional ranks. How serious is that part of your decision? Well, it's definitely a possibility. I think I'd be foolish not to look into that. So mentioned in Sports Illustrated, you said, I'll go to college, but if I don't think I can get better in college, I'm just going to skip it. That's just what I was going to ask him. Maybe he'll surprise me. What's it going to be, college or the NBA? Oh, no, I haven't made up my mind yet. Oh, how about, oh, no, wow. 
bro. <laughs> Passionate, even at a young age. Father Jelly Bean Joe Bryant, son Kobe, embracing. So I'm assuming Jelly Bean Joe Bryant played in Italy. Let's have a look at him. Jelly Bean Joe Bryant. Would you have a look at that? Nickname Jelly Bean. Is an American former professional basketball player and coach. He played for the Philadelphia 76ers, San Diego Clippers, and Houston Rockets of the NBA. He also played for several teams in Italy and one in France. Bryant was the head coach of the WNBA's Los Angeles Sparks from 05 to 07 and returned to that position for the remainder of the 2011 WNBA season. Bryant has also coached in Italy, Japan, and Thailand. He's still alive. He's 67. And it's such a tragedy when a parent outlives their, their, their child. Isn't it? Joe Washington Bryant, aka Jellybean. I don't mind the nickname, I must admit. I'm uh, Kobe Bryant. I have decided to take my talent to. Uh... Look, I'm, I'm, I'm on baited hooks here, guys. Is he going to say the NBA? Is he going to say college? I don't know. I actually don't know, but thinking that it's 1996, and he played 20 odd years, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say he went to the NBA, and I I don't know this for sure. No, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. What people don't know about that is I I had a bet with my classmates on whether or not I would do that or not. Whether you would do what? Like the pause. So it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I feel it's time for me to go out. And I reckon he should put those glasses on and take the red pill and go straight into the matrix, to be Even fair. While I'm still young. You have some people who, you know, were just hating on a 17 year old kid. Is our high school superhero hating. a star or star struck? We don't want to be. People don't want to babysit an 18 and 19 year old kid. He can go get a shot for himself. Mate, this guy was in the gym in the dark an hour before the team got in there. This ain't no 18, 19 kid. This is a superstar in the making. Let's be fair. Anytime he wants. In the NBA. Uh, Even in the NBA, he'll be able to create shots. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. At the age of 18, I knew that I was not going to be stopped. What this number? was my life. With when did, the 13th pick. 13th pick. The 1996 pick. NBA draft. To the Lakers, Charlotte I assume. Hornets Charlotte Hornets. Kobe Bryant. Fuck, that's something new. I didn't know that, that's for sure. From Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. Coming Went to the Hornets. Kid. Jerry West told me today that kind of lasted long, surely. This young man thought he was going to be absolutely fantastic. Kobe Bryant, he was acquired from the Charlotte Hornets in the exchange for Vlade Divac. Everybody remembers that trade. Do you remember what you told me? Vlade Divac. When I first met you, you said you were going to be the, the greatest player of all time. He literally came into the league having skipped college, 19 years of age, and said to Shaq instantly when he came to the team, I will be the greatest player of all time. Now that is some confidence. He's the three for his first NBA points. First time that he hadn't been a starter on his team, and the first time he hadn't been the best player, and the first time the coach had kind of had to criticize him. Times I'd sit the Two-handed slam. Games and slam, it down. Last slam it down. Slam it down. Slam it down. What are you going to do? For a year and a half. I knew I could play with these guys. I, I wasn't getting the opportunity to show it. A guy by the name of Del Harris was a former coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Del Harris is a good man. Oh, and you, you can't get much more of a smooth move than that, right? Bit of a, bit of a shake, sh shimmy, bit of a shake and shake and bake, what have you. Crossover into the middle. The lane's open. He takes it to the rim and slams it down. Way with Kobe. Daryl Harris wouldn't allow him to make fancy moves in practice. Oh, he's 19 years of age. He's just come into the league and he's slamming it on motherfuckers' heads. If he'd made a spectacular move, Dell wouldn't even count the basket. Showboat played a good game for his first game. I really look forward to going out. Have you autographed Showboat, Brian? 
Because Shaq is like, I'm Superman, Batman, I'm the big brother, you the little brother. Kobe wasn't trying to be anybody's little brother. Kobe faked the pass. Don't you worry about giving it to Shaq, bro. Go up yourself. <laughs> when he first came in, he said he wanted to be better than Michael Jordan. With a touch of authority looking a little bit like Michael. He was just special. Another thing you told me as an 18 year old, I'm gonna be better than Mike. So I, I knew it definitely drove you. He was different from everyone else. Yeah, he had a horror about him that I've never seen in an 18 year old. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got hops. I'll say, I'll say that much. Either this kid's really cocky or he believes in it. If you've got massive hands and you can palm the ball, plus hops, the world's your oyster. Perfect timing. Hmm, who'd he give that to? Oh, hang on. Hang on, he was past the alley -oop. Yeah. And to accomplish all that coming from high school, not going to college, I think was great. Oh, you don't want that. What's he going to do here? Oh, fuck. Could be anything, honestly. You see Kobe Bryant get a fast break with no one in front of him. Who knows what he's going <laughs> to... That's the thing, like, he's probably got two, like, what a second a second and a half if not two seconds to decide what kind of spectacular dunk am i going to throw down right here because it's certainly not going to be a, a, a generic layup it's going to be something spectacular and in this case it was a 360 dunk shaq gets the rebound passes it to fisher on to kobe Oh my gosh, that was within two, that was literally, that was literally two seconds from Shaq taking the board down to Kobe Bryant scoring on the opposite end. How can you defend that? You can't. Looks like he was going into Hollywood Park next door. <laughs> Hollywood Park next door. Never been there. Probably never will, but I, I wouldn't mind it. A lot more minutes than he's been getting. The youngest player in the competition from the Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant. The, l the youngest and, uh, player. Him the next Michael Jordan. <laughs> 18 and a half years old, third dunk. And this is the NBA dunk contest, yeah? Kobe Bryant, Michael Fenley, and Carl. And the way he worked at his skill level to become one of the most amazing scorers, one of the most amazing offensive players that we've He is a seen. cool cat, if ever did see one. What do we got here? What do we got here? Ugh, through the legs. Slams it down. I mean, we've seen it time and time again, but back in the, 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 the late 90s, I don't know if we have, we had seen that, to be fair. Look at him. So our winner is Kobe Bryant, as a rookie, comes into the league, skips college, comes into the league, wins the NBA dunk contest, and becomes what many will say the greatest of all time. Five seconds left. What's he going to do? Because that air ball game where Kobe shot those air balls against Utah. Right, right, John Exel fake stock away. Cross court left. Open Kobe drives the three. Another air ball. Kobe should not have been in the game. Ooh, okay. Bit of adversity here. I like it. I like the way Joseph Vincent set this up because you need a bit of adversity to come back from. And um, yeah, it looks as if uh, he is actually capable of, of throwing an air ball. Unbelievably. Just put him in the game specifically to teach him a lesson because he got tired of Kobe's. Jazz Ruby. Stockton. All over. Great seconds. Seven seconds. Here's a three pointer air ball to the left. Kobe Bryant. Another air ball. Four seconds left. It's Stockton. <laughs> well, Shaq ain't happy. And I can only assume Kobe Bryant wasn't either. You know, I, I really thought that was defining Kobe's career. You know why? If somebody would have shot an air ball on our team, and they had shot a second one, they were going to shoot a third one. He was fearless. I think that's one of the things that spurred him to greatness. He wasn't going to allow himself to fail. You have to take the good with the bad. Man. I don't mind the tracksuit. You, you go down with the ship. <laughs>
Thanks, Ahmad. Well, there's a player in the game today that's been compared uh, more than anybody else to Michael Jordan. That's Kobe Bryant of the Lakers. And Pat, that was early days. The first two or three years in his in his um, career, he was already compared to the likes of Michael Jordan, I which... When I came to the I wanted to... Did they play against each other? They must have. Take Kobe Bryant shooting and hitting with Michael Jordan in his face. I called Kobe and he was like, so what was it like? What's going against Jordan? I was like, man, this is that black cat. We tried this, we tried that. But you know what? Well, you better get ready for the caramel cat. We got a little show going on here between number 23 and number 8. Before the Black Mamba. They're basically the same player. I mean, let's be fair. They're basically the same player. What's what's going to happen here? Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's got it over him. Oh, he drains it. He drains it from mid range over Michael Jordan in his prime for the Chicago Bulls. That's insane. Was that 97, 98? Who knows? Oh, mate, the present and the future. Incredible. Incredible. Was, you know, they called them Black Panther. They called them Black Jesus and all this stuff. I said, I want to see what this is about. Little advice from the master. <laughs> what happened is that we wound up, we wound up becoming a big brother. The kids, he's learned a lot in, in a short amount of time he's been in the league. And believe me, he's going to continue. To That's sick, the man. Thing. Oh, honestly, in the world of basketball, you can't get much better than that, man. Kobe Bryant and, and Michael Jordan sitting down on the knees, just getting a wee breather. You know what I mean? It might have been a free throw. It might have been a... A timeout, who knows? But they were talking and they were chit chattering away and, and having a wee chin chin wag and um passing on, you know, knowledge, passing on wisdom. Wow. I tell you that was impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> right. He's impressive. <laughs> you know Michael Jordan is impressed with that. Kobe Bryant has sent a message that he is the future. This year, I can pinpoint things before they actually happen. Last year I would go through games where everything was like it's like a blur. I can see things a lot more <laughs> than I could last year. Oh, what are we missing? Bryant's minutes are up, his scoring is up, and he's upgraded his defense. Now the 19-year-old veteran is making the types of impression that Van Gogh and Monet would be proud of. He's 19 years old. And much more. Oh, mate. One inch taller thanks to mom nature and 10 pounds thicker after frequent trips. Joseph, he missed the shot. Why are you including that? To the weight room in the office. That's the thing, bro. He, he not only can he cross you up with these, but the fact is, is that if he is within, you know, I'm going to say 10 feet, 15 feet of the rim, he's going to go over you, and it's up to you whether you want to, you know, foul him, I suppose, whether you want to um, get knocked the fuck back by his just absolute um, athletic prowess, or whether you want to just watch. Be a bystander in the paint and watch him dunk over you. I mean, which which option would you choose, to be fair? I think I'd choose to try and absorb the offensive foul. But he's going to get it so high and he's going to he's gonna take off so early that uh, it's probably not going to happen. And dunk. Woo! I think that's what the fans came to see. And you talk about elevation... <laughs> Mr. Brute Force and Shaq, and you have that aerial artistry of the younger Kobe. Oh, Shaq and Kobe combining in their primes is just... I mean, we've got Kevin Garnett there playing for the Timberwolves. That's... Hey, hang on, what's that? Is that, is that a... That must be an all-star game, surely. About the bridging of the two Has generations to be. between Michael Jordan and then to Kobe Bryant. The players today talk about Kobe Bryant being their Michael Jordan. He, not LeBron, is the closest player to stylistically Michael Jordan. Get out of my way. Odom gets it ahead and Bryant by himself. You have those extreme winners that literally, to the exclusion of everything else, including their family, including, you know, other people, focused on just one thing. Yep. Nobody works harder. Nobody. That's why they're, and they, they love to win. 
in, the, in an almost psychotic way. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why Shaq, as he would say, tried to slap him, <laughs> is because he was so cocky about what his intentions were. You guys had a fight several weeks ago. Did he connect on the punch you threw? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was swift on the, on the duck. Miss me, my <laughs> This is a team that uh, is talented. It's young. It's on the verge. I just had a chance. I've got to do a bit of research here. This this video was created and published on May 19th, 2018. So if we look up Kobe Bryant's Wikipedia, he died January 26th, 2020. A year and a half after this. Chance to meet Kobe Bryant. He's dedicated. And the fact that I'm watching this guy. And the fact that he's actually, he's he's not with us anymore is, it hits me every now and then, you know, and I, I get goosebumps, I I brush them off, I, I realise that this guy's actually not with us anymore, and, you know, what a tragedy it is, it's you know, it way too young, way, Jordan, way too young, there's not too many players that have ever done way that too young. Game. Who's the best player you ever played with? Kobe. Number eight? Definitely Kobe. On the road, Kobe. On the just different that might have been a travel you know, getting, getting to the gym at about five working on his jab steps getting to the gym at five make sure everything's perfect and uh, that, that's kobe kobe in his career had 40 game winning mix i wonder how many hours he slept i'm gonna say i'm gonna say i'm gonna say i'm gonna say six but when you think about his athletic performances you'd think he'd need at least eight so I, I maybe he just went to bed really early who knows that's the thing it's not as if he, he got every shot right but when it mattered he was willing to take the shot and 50% of the time, it went in. 50% of the time, it didn't. But it's those times that it did go in that people remember. We're going to the finals. The series is tied at three games apiece. This afternoon, it's put up or shut up. Yet they have lost three times in the regular season and twice in this series to the Trailblazers on their home floor. Scotty Pippen. <laughs> what the fuck? He went to the Trailblazers? Well, I didn't know that. Duo to me, Shaq and Kobe. Those were co-stars. They needed each other to be as great as they were. Well, the first thing that the Lakers have to realize is they've got 12 minutes to play. It's only a 13-point game. Not anymore. <laughs> Steve Smith hits on the run, and it's 15. I don't think he goes to the hack of Shaq. I should have appreciated it more. Woo! What a block that was. I should have appreciated you more. Get up, son. That slammed down emphatically. I'm actually wondering what his vertical jump was. I mean, I've seen so many vertical jumps during the NFL combines over the years. But what was what 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 are these basketball players' vertical jumps? I mean, seriously, what are they? I need to know. I need to know. If it's on the internet, of course. Because if it's not over 40 inches. I would be surprised. And what that would mean is that 38 inches. 38 inches. Now that's 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 fairly decent. I mean it's six foot six. You get a six foot six tight end in the NFL jumping a 38 inch vertical jump. That is elite, right? But we do have a, a guy called Kyle Pitts. And I'm sh pretty sure that he not only runs a 4.3 something 40 yard dash, but he's also got a 40 inch vertical jump. And that is the basis of why I actually picked him for my fantasy football team. So, yeah. Kobe Bryant into the lane. The fight for everything here. The assertiveness, the offense. Now Kobe gives him the two point lead. But I think now both of them look back fondly and miss a little bit of what they did have. Portland has three timeouts left. The Lakers have two. Bryant. Get up, Shaq. Slam it down. 
Goes up by six. 30 seconds to go. Let's fucking go. Makes it a six point difference with 41 and 3 tenths seconds left. Beautiful. You know what? You know what I'm really disappointed about is the fact that I've just, I've really just realised that this, this really is only covering the first part of his career, right? Being that it's episode one. Um, I reckon we're going to have to continue this. Now he's going to be playing four different pacers. We're going to have to continue this. But everybody's going to be waiting for that glamour matchup: Kobe versus Reggie. Here is Kobe. Exploding to the hoop. He is without question one of the 10 best players in the history of the league. Kobe Bryant cuts it to three. Doesn't take him long to get into the lane and hangs in the air. Well, it's not your, your classic sky hook, but it's certainly a 38 inch vertical jump. That's for sure. They really appreciated that competitive fire. And it was that ability to sort of let it rip. Kobe Bryant. He's got an incredible jump shot. Let's be fair. He was never the Steph Curry type three-point shooter who could pull it up from absolutely anywhere, but Hang on, is that Sean Bradley? And the O'Neal's out. There we go. 36 points, 21 rebounds. <laughs> no wonder he's fouled out. Up by one. Two minutes to go. Overtime. That same move that I was showing him in my step back, he hit in What are we going to do here? We've got two minutes to go. It's not, it's not as if it's at the death. Is that a three? I, I feel like his foot was um, over the line. Take your time. Everything's cool. I'm not going to let us lose this game. As he's running down the court, pats me on the button, and says, you never should have showed me that step back. Shaq's off the field. Shaq is off the court, which is not good. Takes the whole game and just puts it on his shoulder. Shot clock at 12. So you don't want to foul now because you got one to give. They won't shoot free throws. Get up! Get up, Kobe! Shaq and Kobe, and they were co stars. Mm. In the end, they needed each other, Stephen A. Only got one. Unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I do believe that this would be episode two, The Prodigy. And following that, episode three, number 24, which must mean he, he, he changed his number from eight to 24. Um, shit. What do, you, what do you do? What do you do at these times? I don't know. Either way, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've been entertained somewhat. Rest in peace to the big man. And um, for those of us with flight anxiety, doesn't matter whether it's a helicopter, doesn't matter whether it's a fucking, uh, doesn't matter whether it's a plane, doesn't matter whether it's a jetpack, we still have that anxiety around it. And I, I'll be honest, I, I get huge anxiety, especially when we're coming into land, right? Because I, the only thing I can imagine is that the, 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 those little wheels... We think they're little, but they're not. They're not little, let's be fair. Um, but they seem little. And those little wheels come down and we, we, we hit the tarmac. And all I can all I can imagine happening is, you know, it's skidding out, right? It, it's skidding out, the, the plane going sideways and basically, you know, skidding down the, the, the runway, uh, overturning multiple times and basically the whole entire plane going up in flames. That is basically what goes through my mind every single time I come down and land, but it hasn't happened yet. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.